go up to file and then go down to open scene you want to open up the dining room that you completed in unit 2 so what we want to do is we want to create some materials and textures to put on the objects in the scene and then after that we'll add some lights and render a final product so let's go up to window and then rendering editors and then to hypershade if you can see in this window there's all kinds of textures materials in here and these are all left over from when we modeled the scene well, we no longer need those reference images and those materials so we're going to get rid of them so over here what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically um, turn off the objects layer so I'll click on the V right here and then I'm going to turn on all the other layers these are all the reference images and then I'm going to uncheck I'm going to click wherever there's an R to turn off the reference so the visibility has been turned on and the reference has been turned off so now I'll just dolly out here I'm going to click and drag a box around all of this stuff and then press delete so now I'll come back in and turn on the objects layer and we have our dining room again now all we have to do to get rid of all of these materials that we no longer need is go up to edit and then delete unused nodes just takes a moment and there they're all gone alright so let's start with the material for the dining room table so let's start with something simple I'm going to create a new Lambert and I never want to start with Lambert 1 that's our default shader and that shader gets put on every time we every time we create a new object um, that Lambert 1 is dropped on there so we want to leave Lambert 1 alone and start with a new Lambert so I'll double click on Lambert 2 and over here I'm going to rename this to table mat for material I'm going to change the color right here I'm going to find a kind of a, a brownish color So move your mouse over the table mat, hold down the middle mouse button, and then drag over to the table and release, and then do the same thing with the chair. So the next step is to create a material for the plate. So over in the hypershade on the left hand side, click on Fong. And now I'll double click on Fong 1 right here, and I'm going to change this to plate mat. and then I'm going to change the color right here just to white and then I'm going to hold down the middle mouse button and drag that over to the plate alright I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I'm going to select the knife and the fork actually let's just do the plate and hit F All right. So the knife and fork, first thing we want to do is we want to smooth these out because right now they're a little rough. So I'm going to click on this and go right over here to the smooth option. I can also go to mesh and then smooth right here. I'm going to smooth that out and the knife. So I'm going to use this button right here to smooth it. All right. So now what we want to do is create materials for that knife and fork. So right now in our um, in our hypershade we're set to um, Maya shaders or Maya nodes. So I want to change this create Maya nodes. I'm going to click on this arrow right here and go to create mental ray nodes. And then I'll click right here where it says materials. And I'm going to select MI metallic paint and then over here in the attribute editor I'm going to change the base color to uh, a gray and also the lit color I'll do a lighter gray for that alright so now I'm going to select both the knife and the fork and over here in the hypershade I'm going to hold down the right mouse button over this material 
and then go to assign material to selection. All right. So I'm going to close the attribute editor right here and let's just take a look at what we have so far in our scene. In order to see these materials displayed correctly, we need to render the scene. So basically, the panel right here, as we work, this is kind of a preview mode. And to see the final result, we need to render it. And that's um, basically the computer is calculating all the lighting in the scene. And then we'll get the final result on these materials. So I'll go up here and I'll click on this button to render the scene. So we have the plate here, but I cannot see the knife and the fork. So what I'll do is I'll go to Maya software and I'm going to change this to mental ray. And then basically what I'll do is I'm going to keep this first render. So I'm going to click on this button right here. That's going to save the render. And then I'm going to hit this button to render it again. So now we can see the knife and the fork. I'll keep that. And let's actually click on the plate here and frame it. And then let's render this again. So here you can see we have kind of a, a steel or metal material for the knife and the fork. All right, so I'll keep that, just save that render. And I'm gonna minimize the render view right here. Okay, so let's move on to the glass now. So I'll just bring up the hypershade again. So while I'm on the mental ray nodes right here, I'm going to select materials and then I'm going to go to MIA material. Click once. And uh, I'm going to double click on the material over here in the hyper shade. And let's name this. This is going to be glass matte. Okay, now this is going to be really easy. There's actually a preset for glass, so I'm going to go over here to presets, click on this, and go to glass thick, and then go over to replace. So now I will hold down the middle mouse button over the glass material and drag it onto our glass in the scene. All right, we still need a material for the lamp, so Let's see here, what do we have? This needs to be renamed, so I'm gonna click on, double click on this MI, MI metallic paint material, and let's call this fork mat. And let's go over back to uh, MIA material. I'm gonna click again to create a new material for the lamp. This is gonna be lamp mat. And I'm gonna use another preset so I'm going to go to presets and then copper and then replace. All right. So now let's go from mental ray nodes back to Maya nodes. And let's create one last material for the lamp shade. So let's do Fong again. And let's call this lamp shade mat. I'll choose a color, a green color for this lamp maybe. And I'm going to take the ambient color and bump this up. And that's going to kind of give it its own glow. And maybe bump the incandescence up a tiny bit. The reason I'm doing this is because the lamp, there's going to be a light inside that lamp. And so I want this material that's going to be on the lamp shade to look a little bit like it's glowing from the light inside. All right, so let's close the attribute editor by going over here and clicking once for our channel box. And actually, I'm going to turn off the channel box. I'll just click on that button and give myself a little more space to work. Okay, so let's tap the space bar and let's go to our side panel right here. 
And I'm going to place the lampshade material on this area. So I need to right click on the object and go to face. And then I'm going to click and drag a box around the faces that encompass the lampshade. Now I'm going to go over to my hypershade. I'm going to hold down the middle mouse button over the lampshade material and drag to the lampshade and then let go. All right, now I want to select all the faces except for the lampshade. Okay, so I want to invert my selection. So I'll go up to Edit, Invert Selection right here. And now all these faces are selected. And I will hold down my middle mouse button over this copper material and drag to the selected faces. All right, let's minimize the hypershade. And I'm going to right click on this object and go to object mode. I'm going to tap the space bar. And let's take a look at our scene by rendering it again. So, I'll bring up my render view. And I'm going to hit this render button right here. Okay, so here we have our lampshade, we have our lamp. Everything's showing up. Now the glass is pitch black, so we're not getting the result that we need on the glass. So let's go to our render settings. I'm going to click on the render settings right here. Once the render settings pop up, I'm going to click on the quality tab. And I'm going to change the quality presets from draft to production. And then I'll close this. Come back here and I'll hit the render button right here. And now our glass is transparent. We can see right through it. So let's save this, this image right there. So now we can go back and now we can see all the previous images by moving this slider down here at the bottom. So we can see the progress of our scene. Okay, so I'm just gonna minimize the render view. This is a good point to save our work. So I'm going to go to File, Save Scene As, and let's just call this Dining Room Texture. And then I'll hit Save right here. OK, and now in the next video, uh, we will start to build the room for the dining room, and then we'll add some more materials, and then we'll get into the lighting.